All right. We got the Pryad versus Indiana Jones. This is game number three. I had to tell him, come on, let's fight again. That was fun. Let's see you do that again. Speed this up. I'm still using the America deck against his Sovcore deck. I didn't expect him to helicopter rush just because, you know, it told him it was try doing something else. I'm still using USA. Really got to helicopter rush it. So I bring up Avengers, Lab Scouts for flanking, CV in the very far back so I can protect it a little bit better. This time I bring a Longbow for recon, and he brings just a K-52 for recon. Got a tank CV in the back. Fob up front. So these are probably Yucky Ande with uh, Spetsnaz, then GRU, VDV, Zalos, VDV, I mean uh, GRU. Whereas I have to bring Recon, small, tank, two tanks for fire support, Avengers, because I'm just holding over here. I just wanted to take this. Did not want to push in. My units, I did not have enough infantry to take this town at all. Longbow up front, daps in front of it. Could have used this to actually take out almost all these units, but I expected something. MLD coming in, longbows moving up. Probably not the best choice for me. Lab Scouts moving up. MLD coming in. And it gets two missiles off and a big gun run. MLD getting shot at by absolutely everything and gets taken out. Daps trying to chase down the K-52. Probably not the best choice considering there are BTR-90s, so I tried flying backwards and they're like going crazy, gonna lose it. Very bad play by me. This tank could have been brought out to the side to actually shoot these guys. Rangers moving in. Yep, Spetsnaz and Yakiyande. Okay. This could have been brought back to resupply earlier. But I brought in a CV against him, so I have a better chance. Lab Scouts trying to do stuff. Zalos versus lab, lab Scouts. Zalos probably will win, I would think, because of the rate of fire. BTR-90 bringing its gun to the mix, so yeah. I think the Lab Scouts would have won, actually, if the BTR-90 wasn't there. Two of them got panicked by the grenades. MiG-27 coming in for the tank. All my AA is trying to adjust. Nighthawk coming in. See what it does. Goes for the K-52, because it's not moving. Figure he's microing something else. He goes out to the tank. He actually used train the rookie big 27s which is kind of a mistake they don't they're not as accurate they're not as effective and you get too veteran just how can you say no to that bring out a lab scout for recon just in case with a cobra because this could have pushed and really taken this out completely big 27 coming out again going for the aa pieces i assume maybe this tank so pretty much you got to use building cover to hide units. I see the plane coming in, I'm like, oh god, oh god, hide, hide, hide. So I bring all my AA right across this building line. This should have been brought over here, but... And then it doesn't stay, because he knows that there's AA back there. So pretty much blocking line of sight affects you and the enemy. 40 Spetsnaz, they won't be able to do much. I bring a small just to prevent vehicles coming in. As you can see, he controls most of the map. I'm just really concentrated in my delta area. He brings a UAZ to India, trying to balance out this difference. I bring some CSs, which are pretty much anti-air guns. This squad could have actually been put in the BRD BTR brought up front, but he brings him into the building instead. Rifleman being brought out. Rifleman 90, rather. I'll fast forward, nothing's happening. Big 27, again, for the tank. Oh no, goes with the chaparral, and it gets out scot-free. Worked out really well for him. So clearly that was not a spot that was hidden. Probably due to this guy seeing it. Yuki Yande 
killing 10 squad members of the Recon Rangers, Cobra getting taken out by an MLD, Nighthawk coming in for the vehicles, takes out 2 out of the 4, yeah. And when IP trying to be careful against this, I think a VDV squad right here would have been really dangerous. <coughs> Excuse me. And when IP trying to fall back again, see, that was actually really lucky that he hit the AA piece. Avenger finishes it off with two missiles. That was lucky for me. Big 27s are a pain in the ass to deal with. I bring up a Patriot because I'm just like, I'm going to stay up front anyway. This is not worth, you know dealing with all the planes with these small units that get attacked pretty quick. I bring a CEV because it's really, really effective fire support. That's his third MiG-27, gets taken out by Avenger and Patriot combo. MLD still alive. I don't know why, but probably reconning back here. Trying to recon the back. If I did this earlier, it would have been effective, but I did it too late. That was his second K-52, actually. Nighthawk took out one. CEV, extremely good fire support. Eight high explosive damage. And if it lands next to something, it just does tons of damage. And we'll see. Just takes a long aim time. That was right in the face, did some good damage. Bringing up a CV for Delta. Then gonna recon Bravo to make sure nothing's there before I bring a CV. There we go, recon comes in. He brings in a unit that's a really small cluster bomber, so I just avoid it immediately. And really easily. Patriot firing. Hits them, doesn't finish, Avengers needed to finish. So I have to buy a resupply for that. So he buys a lot of planes, he doesn't do anything with his units, he doesn't buy enough CVs. Like, if he just bought CVs instead of planes, he would have been fine. But I'm at plus 4 against his plus 2. K-52 coming around. I have no idea where it is. He's trying to take out the Patriot. I already microed it. Gonna micro it some more, just in case. MLD to support this, just in case. So he knows there's a Patriot, he's going for it. Pivads, I see the missile come at it, I turn it off just in time, turn it on again, turn it off, just to bait out another missile, and then I turn it back on, try to take it out. This CV is dangerously close to him, so I try running away with it. I don't think it's going to get away. Yeah, K-52 is right on top. Yeah, three seconds. MLD getting shot at by Pivads. Wild Weasel, I'm bringing it out because Seed plus the Sidewind, the Aim 9s, hoping that it could actually do something, but it miss, it hits with one. Lab Scout trying to finish it. Gets out of line of sight. So my Riflemen are waiting. My Avenger needs ammo. Hammett coming up front, although it really should have just stayed here. K-52 coming right back trying to not get seen. I'm having a hard time spotting it so I don't uh, get to line up properly to hit it with the missile. Pivads are on, trying to find it. I have no idea that it's over there. Yeah, no idea that it's over there. I expect it to be landed down here, but he actually lands right here. I didn't realize that's a landing spot. He's trying to blow up whatever's over here again. This time, same sp spot that he missed. So I just move a little bit further away, don't really care, easy to dodge, especially when nothing's going on. Turn off the fuel, because I don't really care if it gets resupplied in that sense. There are plenty of fuel left to fight. Bring up another recon chopper just in case, trying to get around. I really need to flank him. Bring in a CV to Gulf. I bring a CV to Bravo to get more points. Bring up some more infantry. My infantry is 20 point total, 15 on the rifleman, 5 on this on the infantry fighting vehicle. It's pretty decent. Got a browning, definitely good suppression value. 
lab scout going to where I thought. This guy gets hardened by existing. I guess calming down from all that. So I expected to spot it, I didn't. So this doesn't do much of anything. He lifts off after seeing it, and lab scout finishes it. He's dropping off some on the CEV. Unfortunately, it missed for the most part. Patriot alive, Wild Weasel, PD. Everyone's getting shot at by everything. It's pretty funny. So this recon squad's able to go up. Probably will be able to land somewhere over here. This game slow pretty much right now. But I'm gearing up to attack up here, but I need a lot of infantry so that all my fire support will be effective. My main concern is this Spetsnaz squad. I don't have too much for it. CEV told it to fire on the ground, because usually people leave squads over here. Another bomber coming in. Takes out the Avenger this time, but we kill the bomber. He, GRU saw the Black Hawk, so he knows what's going on. I see that CEV with the Rifleman. BTR-90 making a mess of my units. Tanks move up to finish. Fire support taking that shot, trying to panic the units. Rifleman get killed as they're entering the water, so they don't get out. Yucky Yunday, LVTP get taken out. Tank coming in. M1IP missed its shot. I lined it up. It didn't work out. CEV getting shot at by the 72B1. Got two CEVs for fire support. I'm trying to panic it at this point. He has a PD, MLD, and a helicopter coming out. Rifleman. These riflemen should be enough to kill that, but I'm trying to go for the CV, so I do, and I get it. CEV firing. My M1IP should have been brought up to fire at it. I got a Deagle coming in, and it gets shot up pretty heavily without doing much of anything. Our computer reset, riflemen, I'm trying to chase to get it, and I do. My firing computer is reset as well. So pretty much lots of fire support as I move infantry up and down the lanes, trying to cat capture them off guard. The Spetsnaz squad could have been moved over, but he didn't. He's going to try to take out Chaparral, which he almost did. So at this point he's like, I don't know what to do against you right now, and I'm just like, infantry. <laughs> just bring infantry. You need units on the field instead of all these planes. K-52 trying to find the CV back here like last time. Although he might have seen this brighten up. I check if he has AA and it seems that he doesn't, so I leave my Cobra there. This is a pretty good fire support with its rocket pods. <coughs> but as you can see, I had to bring many different types of units to do fire support. I bring an M1A1 because I killed all of his MiG-27s. Or at least most of them. Riflemen, they do a good job as well. They're good at spotting targets and their machine gun's decent enough. Buratino fires absolutely almost all of the load onto tanks, which is complete useless. Riflemen spot Spetsnaz and it's complete wipe. <laughs> Especially when you walk outside of the building and get caught. So I have units getting ready. This is Delta Force. This is a uh, Marines 20. Cobra comes up, trying to kill that Buratino. Eagle was going to do that, but I right-click the target so it doesn't work. Trying to hit the K-52 with the Cobra, take it out. Not working out completely. Rifleman should have been brought up to take this stuff out. So just maneuvering units. I know this is clear because Spetsnaz moved. Wild Weasel moving around, trying to get that. Didn't work out. Eagle, try doing a bomb and run. I saw where the units were coming, and they wreck that Spetsnaz squad. Rangers, because the K-52 ran away, I'm able to move it over, and I'm trying to go bush hopping into them. Rifleman 20, 
Would have been better if I moved him earlier, but my Cobra did more than enough. He's bringing out planes, because I've been using planes, but more strategically. And more effectively, actually. This Bertina should have been brought to the FOB almost immediately. Patriot, still doing its job, doing amazing. MLD gun runs the Chaparral. And it takes it out. B5 coming in because he sees all this stuff. Which is a decent choice. He knows that the enemy's over here. Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. What should have happened is the Patriot should have been brought up. B5 comes in, I'm just like, oh god, why did I clump my units? Delta Force trying to get them away. They survive. Rangers survive. One of them. <laughs> He's bringing in more Yakiyande. CEV dominate. M1A1 could have been brought up. Rangers seeing no trouble. Start moving. I see the CV. I'm like, oh god, I gotta capitalize on this. CEV, two damage on that shot. Spetsnaz, one life. Delta Force versus Yakyande with US Marines. Probably not the best of fights. Rifleman, I bring him back. Rangers killed Spetsnaz. M1A1, gotta be careful against this Yakyande squad. These guys could have been used more effectively earlier. I brought a lab scout grouping just to fire support over here. Rangers kill the CV. I turn off the machine guns so that they don't startle him in golf. Because I was fighting here, that's when I went for the CV. Patriot gets moved up because now my front line is over here. So gotta support it. Bring up another AA piece because you need two whenever you have a Patriot. Rangers pushing units back, riflemen trying to prevent anything from going down. Bringing up more riflemen 90 as I have more than enough fire support to help them. CEV takes out four members of that grouping. Rifleman 90 take out both vehicles at once. MI-25 versus Rangers, Rangers will lose. Deagle coming in. Gets hit hard by a Tunguska. ED coming in. Probably gonna kill it. Nope, Tunguska kills it. And my 25 sees the Rangers. Rangers are gonna get wrecked. Luckily, I get into the forest. K52 should have been brought back, resupplied. Rifleman taking out Yakiyande. Yeah, Rifleman doing a good job against Yakiyande. Mainly because these guys were panicked and low on life anyway. So Rifleman were able to do their job. Plus they became elite because <laughs> they killed so many things over here. So they're super effective. And there were only 15 points. Look at that. 15 versus 25. Now who's the elite, huh? CEV firing on the Yakiyande. It will get the finishing blow. And that's a kill. It also hurt my US Marines, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Lav Scouts moving up, trying to get that UAZ. Patriot fires on the PD, hits it, panics it. He has another Yucky Yande squad. I bring up my tanks. One mistake that I do make is leaving this M1A1 up here. It should have been further back. This should have been the one that hides and just moves up and fires and runs away. But I didn't do that. Lab scouts don't realize that the CV's over here. Thought it was back there. So I just keep on driving past. Reorganize my forces. So I'm still gaining points because he didn't capture golf. That CV's going for it. Lab scouts now trying to kill. The MI-28 and the CV, but they miss. Cobra finishes off the CV there. K-52 has Iglas, and then Sha Tunguska finishes it. Wild Weasel trying to take out some of these helicopters. Wild Weasel takes it out with its sidewind, well, aim 9. Shoots it at the PD, dies to the PD. Rifleman, 90 versus Yakiyande. Rifleman will lose because it's 2 versus 1. I needed this squad up, these guys to come around to fire as well. 
I'm not fire supporting with that rifleman squad, so they're gonna get killed. Got a bunch of hemets because gotta keep that patriot firing. I bring some more AA pieces just in case. I'll fast forward this, nothing really happening. He's behind in points because I killed CVs left and right. Yucky on Davers Rifleman. They're starting their training is starting to show. That's mainly because again, I have two squads versus two squads, elite versus regular. You gotta support your, your riflemen. They're there just to find the target. I bring the machine gun trucks over because they're using their machine gun, they gotta target the vehicles. Pretty much trying to panic it, make him do nothing. And this is where he gives up. So yeah, USA beat USSR. It's game number three against uh, Indiana Jones.